Hello everyone, now I will show you how to set up your Linksys router. And before starting, if this video helps, please support me. I donate half of all donations to shelters. You can find more details in the description below. So the first thing that you will need to do is to turn on your router. Take the power adapter. Plug one end of the power adapter into an outlet and the other into the router. When the router is turned on, the power indicator will be lit. It may take a few minutes for it to completely turn on. Next, plug the cable from your internet service provider or from your modem into a special internet port. This port is usually labeled as internet and usually it has a different color. Each cable should be inserted until it snaps into place. Now you need to restore the router to its factory settings. Hold down the reset button on the router for 10 seconds. Wait until the indicator lights on the router start flashing. At times, this button is found inside the router casing to prevent it from being pressed by mistake. In this case, use a slim object to press it down. The router will restart and the settings will go back to their original factory defaults. Plug one end of the ethernet cable provided with the router into one of the LAN ports. and plug the other end of the cable into your computer's Ethernet port. Wait a few minutes for connection. Great, we've connected the router to your computer. Now you will need to set it up. But first, let me show you another way to connect the router if you do not have an Ethernet cable or your computer does not have an Ethernet port. Connect the router to the power adapter and cable from your internet provider. This will enable Wi-Fi. If your router is new and hasn't been set up, your Wi-Fi network will be named after the router. Your router has a unique Wi-Fi network name and password printed on a sticker. Connect to it. Awesome, you've connected to the router. Now let's get it set up. First, open your web browser and visit the URL you see on the screen. Use the URL bar instead of the search bar. At the beginning you will see a form with a login and password. Usually it is admin and admin. If these credentials are wrong, then find label on your router. The credentials are often printed on the bottom of the device. If none of this works, it means that your router has already been configured and someone has changed the login and password. If you can't find out the login credentials, just reset the router to factory settings. And then log into the router's personal cabinet using the standard credentials. If your router settings do not look like mine, it means that your router has a different firmware. I made a video for every firmware type. You can find all the links in the description down below. I want to warn you right away that there are many firmware versions and they may differ slightly. But don't worry, you will succeed. Just watch the video and follow the instructions. So on the setup tab in the language section, you can select the preferred interface language. In the internet setup section, select the internet connection type. Usually, it is specified in the contract with your broadband provider. If you're not sure what your connection type is, select this one. It's the most common option. Next, in the network setup section, make sure the router's IP address is correct. Usually, it's the same address you use to access the router settings. 
In my case, it's this one. In the DHCP server settings section, make sure this is set to enabled. And in the time settings section, you can change your time zone. Now save the settings. Go to the wireless tab. Here, in the network name field, you can change the name of your Wi-Fi network. Save the settings. If you were connected to the router via Wi-Fi, reconnect to the network if you just changed its name. Next, go to the Wireless Security tab. Here, in the Passphrase field, you can change the password for your Wi-Fi network. Save the settings. If you were connected via Wi-Fi, reconnect to the updated network. Next, go to the Setup tab and reboot the router. Wait a couple of minutes until the router fully restarts. Now check if the internet is working. Just try googling something. If the internet still doesn't work, try cloning your MAC address. To do this, go to the Setup tab. Open the MAC address clone section. Here, click Enabled. Then click the Clone My PC's Mac button. Save the settings. And you'll need to reboot the router again. Now check if the internet is working. Just try googling something. If internet still doesn't appear, contact your internet service provider. He will tell you what type of connection you have and what other settings you need to do. That's all. If my video was useful, please support my work. I donate half of all donations to shelters. You can find more details in the description below.